Hey, what's on? an ectopic pregnancy. So an ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that occurs outside of the uh, outside of the uterus. So inside of the uterus is called the endometrium. And a normal pregnancy occurs when the sperm travels up the cervix into the uterus or the endometrium, and then it either travels to one of the fallopian tubes to meet at the ampulla with the with the ovum with the egg. And when they meet, that's called fertilization. And then they make their way down to the endo to the fundus of the end of to the fundus of the uterus inside the endometrium the inner lining of the wall now that's where implantation is supposed to occur because if you have let's say that this is the uterus well the baby implants itself there and then it gets bigger and that's how pregnancy works right but within an ectopic pregnancy it occurs outside of the uterus usually in the fallopian tube it gets stuck there now the fallopian tube is a collapsible tube and there's not a lot of room for the um, zygote to become an embryo and a fetus. As it gets bigger, it's gonna cause rupturing and bleeding and the mom might die. So some of the treatments that, we're, that we have to do is give the medications that are gonna essentially terminate the pregnancy like methotrexate. And so methotrexate is given to the mother who is suspected of having an ectopic pregnancy because the pregnancy as it continues, it's not viable and it may kill the mom. So ectopic pregnancies cause a lot of pain. You also are gonna notice that the fundal height or the growth or the development of the fetus, of uh, the zygote to the embryo to fetus, it's not keeping up its developmental stages because the implantation occurred elsewhere and there's not a lot of room for it to grow. So just keep in mind that you wanna um, look out for um, potential bleeding, uh, pain, and it's gonna require methotrexate to terminate the pregnancy and then surgery to remove it. Now, who's at risk for ectopic pregnancies? It's primarily people that have had a lot of previous surgeries, a lot of scar tissue inside the womb, or a lot of um, STDs, like they could have pelvic inflammatory disease, which changes the structures, and it makes it more difficult for the fertilized ovum to implant itself in the fundus of the endometrium. And that's what ectopic pregnancies are about. Thank you. Mm -hmm.